Welcome back everyone, I am the Depressed Eeyore and this is Cultist Simulator. So, we made a deal with Poppy and uh, we're gonna, we got a bunch of, we got a front uh, down payment up for that and uh, yeah, we got some stuff going on here. Study on the white. Uh, Husher writes distractedly, distractedly of uh, his hatred of colors and his yearning for death. He hints at a great work he has envisaged and or begun where the palace of paintings will enthrall the world. He returns again and again to certain compelling phrases which he claims are the secret words of winter. And we got a sexton secret. A certain knowledge, it is said, can be expressed only through the particular uh, quality of a silence. It has been suggested that one can only read such knowledge with one's eyes closed, but only by mischievous commentators. Use this with a corpse and an edge aspect, you make a corpse rise. So this is our first tier of winter lore. Alright, what else we got to study? The locksmith stream. In this volume, Galmir record, uh, record uh, Galmir records uh, fewer dreams and experiences. Uh, explicates more of her own elaborate theories. We can see this again and again. What is below can't escape what is above. Alright, another acquaintance. That's fine. Alright, once again we're going to have some... Uh, some issues with some recklessness and this time we don't really have a good fallback option once again we're doing overtime it'll still get us to coin uh, to funding which is good but it's still annoying peculiar rumors okay let's go visit the well uh, miss another furtive truth that's all right. Oh, since this is a, uh, I loaded a save. That means that all my cards are gonna return to the wrong places. That's all right. So just make sure I grab those. This place merits closer investigation. Lockwood Fen, the reeking murk of the Finlands is ripe with furtive life. Taciturn locals still watch the sacred places of the small and secret gods, the ones that answer prayers. We got that for us. Alright, that's been taken care of. I'm gonna go ahead and go shopping for more books. Uh, not sure what I can do with this restlessness. Um, I would need to find a way to de delay things if possible. I might just take the dread and hope for the best. I have ways to get rid of dread through money, but it's not exactly something I like to rely on. Okay, uh, the finest artisans uh, all dream of the white door in the end. I'm no artisan, only a scholar. I think there's a secret that all these artisans know, but I th think that secret is only half the story. A locksmith's sec a secret. This is the tier one of um, uh, the knock influence. Sooner or later, uh, every locks or knock lore rather. Sooner or later, every locksmith has the dream. Now we recite its seven phrases. Nearly every summoning rite requires knock influence. This lore will provide it. There you go. Got a nice little variety going on here. We also got some erudition, which is good. Because that's actually what I'm going to do next. It's going to get that up. In the meantime. Got some money. Got some reason. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just keep working here. It's going to be annoying, but there's not much I can do about it. It's that... The problem is it, it takes 60 seconds to paint, and literally the, the 
cool the uh, the timer on the uh, our promotion our promoted position is 60 seconds. You don't lose the card if you run out of time. You just get demoted, and that's just going to cost you more time to get refreshed and get your job back. Um, and I'd rather not deal with that. For right now, dread is not a huge issue. If it does become an issue, I will have to act. Okay, another hanger on. Bunch of generics, but not a big deal. They're color coded, I noted. That might actually tell me more than I expected. All right. Um, for right now, we're just gonna keep doing what we're doing. We're just gonna keep recruiting some people here and there. I don't think there's any other talking I care to do. No, not yet. If I can get a lantern right, I can do something with it, but once again, I'm going to have the issue with the, the, the Grover people, or Glover. An introduction to histories. Uh, the 17th century uh, mystic and antiquarian Claude Hersault Her describes divergent incidents in five major histories. So that'll probably get us some he secret histories, and that's it. Anyway, we'll go ahead and keep... Uh, keep book shopping as best as much as we can at the moment help help out a bit all right I'm sick that's a little annoying not the end of the world what we'll have to do is I'll have to um, I'll have to take a walk to get some vitality back it's either that or I spend money to buy medicine not exactly the best thing. I'm gonna go ahead and get this occult scrap here. That will, um... Now we have two of them, which... We've already we've already read that if we combine two of the same type, uh, they will get improved. So that's another way of our, us getting some extra lore. Um, in the meantime... Actually, we have just enough time. Okay, I'm going to wait on sleeping. Or dreaming, rather. And uh, do some stuff. Uh, collection of Poetry. Uh, so once again, another Passion Upgrade book. I'm getting a lot of those. We still want to get to the next tier of the Painting ability, because that does actually have an influence in the game. Um, scholarship stuff is not a big deal, because it just gives reason. And reason is reason no matter where you get it. Alright. So I'm going to need some glimmerings eventually, that's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and keep shopping. I'm going to probably float around... I'm probably going to float around um, 7 funding for now, just in case I want to go and uh, do some uh, dungeons. Or explorations, rather. Alright, I didn't get hold, held back, that's good. for us. So now I can take this book, these eruditions, and get myself some improved reason. Apollo and um, Mericias. The libertaire of a lost opera concerning the contest between Apollo and uh, Marcias. I don't know how to pronounce that, I apologize. And it's in, in, in its tragic outcome. Uh, the the libertarist is identified only by their initials RKNJL. Should have just collected all, but that's alright. Boop, boop, boop. Keep. Getting books. Got that going for us. Uh, we found. Um, at this point, all we can get is recruits. Um, we, there are, as far as I know, there are only four patrons. There. All right. Our obsession is being a little annoying, but that's all right. That could be an issue. We might have to do something about it. 
because our dread's building up again. Ah. A friendly visit from Poppy. Uh, this is the time, my dear. The sun in rags requires his conclusion. Will it be you, or do you have a friend? Now, notice that the timer is in red. Um, you might not have noticed it too much, but whenever we get those sickness events, the timer actually starts out in red until the, the slot is filled. So that's a warning to let you know that, hey, this timer is going to lead to an, an end. And if it's red, it's usually a bad end. So it's just something to uh, be aware of, to say the least. I'm going to give them a pawn. A suitable conclusion. What a loyal friend you have here. Do say goodbye now. So with that, the timer went back to normal. So that's the requirement. So you get a bunch of money and some other stuff from do taking the job, but if you don't have any people to put in here, like you, you, if you hadn't started your cult yet, um, it's a, it's a, it's an end for you. Uh, this only takes followers. It does not take hirelings or summons. So I'm gonna sacrifice this pawn. All right. Uh, so. Besides that, that is it. And there's someone banging just outside my door, which is not great. Hopefully that doesn't become too much of an issue. Hopefully you guys hopefully it doesn't come up on the mic. If it does, I completely apologize. Alright, sorry about that everyone. I um pretty much went and took a nap. Uh while waiting for the construction to finish. Freaking construction at 6 p.m. Good times. Anyway, Garcel's a book. Uh, let's see. I believe we read that part. Actually, I didn't read that part. Let's fix that. Uh, the annotated dream dream journals of Christopher Illipoli, sometimes called the only readable cultist uh, literate and entertaining bill literate. Okay, it's volume 2 of the same book. I'll grab that. There was something else I was reading before I pretty much, there's a bit of a, a bit of video I just completely clipped out because the freaking construction just kept going. Uh, we got Dread. Oh well. I, for, for the life of me, do not remember. Anyway, let's just go ahead and get more uh, get more books. And uh, we'll just continue from here. Alright, so we gained some reason, that's good. At this point, we have more than enough reason to do whatever we need to do. Alright, let's go ahead and read some books. There, uh, There's an extensive discussion of the similarities between Illipoli's own dreams and those of the Emperor Illugabalus, who Illipoli uh, regards as a dupe or avatar of the sun in rags. The white is west of the world, Illipoli remarks, and winter does not wait forever. Okay, now that we've got a new person, we'll keep, uh, keep that going. Cat, don't jump on desk, please. Locksmith's dream, a light through the keyhole. The first volume of Teresa's uh, Galmier's M examination of the parallels in the mystic dreams of artisans. Alright. Uh, I said I was going to float around seven funds, so that's pretty much it for what we have at the moment. But we do have at least a few books to work with. Alright, our health is back. A few things I would want to do is um, 
The light in the wood, not enough. There is a house in the wood, this much I know. Here is light through the trees. So, if we had something a little bit more than uh, two, um, two winter, same thing for um, the locksmith, the same thing for a knock. If we had something higher than two, we might be able to actually go beyond where we are at in the path. Thank you for the money. Follower is gone, I remain. Poppy Lascelles is seen here and there. She may have more to say to me. Chilly atmosphere. We've seen this before. Alright. So, now she didn't murder us, and uh, she's now a patron, so we can get more jobs from her. We're up to two dread now. Uh, Elagabalus found his way to the white door at last. Thankfully, speech can't pass the white door, and honestly, Igalabalus never had anything very interesting to say. I tried to follow in his footsteps, but I never learnt enough of the white. I suppose I'm thankful for that, too. But here's what I do know. So, we got another sexton secret. And some erudition. In the original myth, uh, Marcius lost a musical contest and was flayed by Apollo, who later regretted it. In this version, Marcius' skin has a further uh, has a further history. All right, the notoriety is gone, so we're in good shape on that front. So any investigations that do happen is going to be a non-issue for us. Okay. So that's just uh, that's for fascination. So we're okay on that front. So that means the dread will go away soon. And here we are again. Peculiar rumor. Click that again, shall we? All right. So many things arise from the well and the wood. I, last night it was a was a swarm with warmy warmy roots. The trees clustered and whispered. Perhaps they were welcoming the influx. I found a sleeping soul, soul ensnared in the roots, and I helped them struggle free. Uh, when they wake, they will recall my my f face as I do theirs. So a peculiar rumor. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and explore on it. It'll probably get me some more freaking notoriety, but since I'm down, I got rid of the last one. It should be okay. Alright, we'll keep exploring. Might as well get what we can from here before we head to the white door. Okay, one dread went away, that's good. The skin of Mar uh, Marcius gives oracles and is later smuggled to Firigia. Uh, Gigia, ah, whatever that place is, where the priestesses of Sibyl use it for the drum uh, for a drum head. At the opera's climax, the pounding of the drum drives would-be violators of the priestess to suicidal madness. The opera ends with a wistful hymn from the youngest priestess on the beauty of, uh, of mountain pines. A thunderous secret. There are common sentiments in every thunderclap. Let us acknowledge them. So this is a heart lore of the first quality. It's a start. The good news is, even for, without books, we now have at least enough stuff to play around with. Um, we can start upgrading some lores to make them slightly better. Doing that. 
Next step. Let's, uh, let's read this book. Introduction to the History. As the prologue warns at length of the in uh, inquities of one Julian Cosley, a former colleague who Hersalt uh, now describes directly as a worm of worms. It seems Cosley advised Hersalt early in the, in the writing of the book, but Hersalt later became suspicious. Cat Kyra and Acquaintance. We actually haven't been reading these, some of these new people, so... Learning new about that guy. Um, Tristan dislikes distractions. Tristan gets, thi like, uh, gets things done. Kat Cairo, as she styles herself, earns a living as a stage medium and a fortune teller. She may have deeper talents. Alright, so that takes care of those. Uh, let's talk to Poppy uh, Lassilis while we're here. I am... Poppy says with a girlish giggle, curious about, oh, you know, the arts of blood and ice. It's silly, but allow an old woman her whims. Will you help me? So Poppy's the only one that's unique as far as patrons are concerned. After, beyond that, that's it. Alright, and we just got our first dread. So we need to deal with that. Commission. Very substantial for knock. This requires level 6 knock. Uh, Poppy will pay for this interest as she likes very substantial research on the corporeal mysteries of the knock. So, not anything we can play with at the moment. Alright, we'll get that going. Alright. Peculiar rumor. Ah, uh, Furt of Truth. Thank you. And over here, we got Notoriety. Un an unpromising unpro address, but a promising student. Uh, Rhaenyra, an acquaintance. Rhaenyra has, has been found not guilty three times in three separate jur jurisdictions. She will likely never be found guilty of anything. Go ahead and explore with that. A little bit of organizing here as best as I can. All right. Well, let's let's see. Uh, Okay, we just finished that. We need to go ahead and pay a little bit of money. It's not the best way to get freaking con uh, contentment, but since we're already in dread, it's our best option. At least until we deal with, find a way to deal with Clover and Glo Grover or whatever their name is. Course of the Heart, okay. That's some vitality. Oh, that deep piece, but I should not do this again. You don't tell me what to do. Alright, back to this. We should be okay now. Once the um, that timer finishes, it will uh, reset our clock on that junk. Hersel identifies blood, silver... Uh, sorry, Hersel identifies blood, silver design in the worms as the central axis of each of the histories and claims that the so-called second history is the true one. We got an occult scrap out of it, so we're up to three of those. Alright, the parallels in, the, in mystic dreams experienced by carpenters, masons, and other artisans are what uh, they purport to reveal about the architect of the world. Sometimes mordant, sometimes funny. No one has ever explained why Galmir devo devoted herself to this quixotic uh, exploration of artisan dreams. And then get held after, so that's good. We're actually making a little bit of profit. Uh, the other option for like making a decent amount of money is if you just go full on painting. Um, though, you, though those mechanics are a little bit more complicated and potentially extremely dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. Okay. 
Get all that going for us. Get a little bit of vitality. Crocus Hill. The ancient tribes uh, res reserved this resting place for one who, by the end, in service to a certain merciless hour, has more scars than man. Uh, they sealed the entrance with binding songs and murdered blood. Alright, looks like we're almost done uh, fully exploring the um, uh, the Shires. If we can get one more of those uh, tier 2 uh, um, secret history uh, lores. Um, for right now though, let's go ahead and pop this and uh, find ourselves another book. Cold scrap. At the very least, we'll have plenty of occult scraps to study. Uh, time and again, we hear of the wood which rises from the world's foundation. All trees reach for light. What does the wood reach for? Is there a difference between light and light? I think the key to dreams of the wood might uh, might be one of these, the one that isn't exactly real. So this is a hint that lets you know that, hey, if you use a uh, lantern, you can probably get to the wood. So that's one of the ways to get there. A Watchman's Secret. It has been expressed like this. Each hour has its color, but color exists only where there is light. So that is our first tier one of lantern, which we can actually work with. I believe we have a commission for, yep, a level two, which a tier one uh, lore of of lantern is level two so we got that going for us um i just need an opportunity to kind of use it which may come eventually we'll see i'm gonna let the timers go for a bit uh, we'll go ahead and continue doing the way of the wood Yeah, so this is what I'll do. I'm gonna go ahead and start. I'm gonna go ahead and study the ragged lore. These are the words that which chill the air and drink the color of my skin. We're gonna start doing some of this. So it's gonna be 30 seconds to get it started. While that's going on, I'm gonna go ahead and dump some passion. The burning of the unburnt god. God, sorry. Compiled by J. Wigglesworth Jensen from Oral Traditions in Rural per uh, Persia. I was about to say Prussia for some reason. Alright. I want... Um, I want to go ahead and send someone to explore normally. I'm going to try to find a uh, mercenary to hire. Asking you receive a hulking fellow. I mean, at this point, I already have notoriety, so I'm gonna go ahead and hire this person. And in about 60 seconds, I will uh, hopefully have something to work with. All right, despair is gonna abate, which is good. Got some junk here we don't care about. Uh, Sylvia and acquaintance. Sylvia lost her eye in the woods when she was nine years old. Every year at Ca uh, Candlemas, she returns to the place she buried it. Alright, so we got like a million people here, so I'm gonna go ahead and just start to... I'm gonna go ahead and take care of some of this. Actually, what are we looking at? Yeah, we'll do this first. Okay, uh, so what we need... Actually, sorry, wrong card. We need to use this. And this. By the way, if you take someone else, you can actually recruit them. But you need 7th intensity in the, in the aspect of your cult, which means we need level 7 in Moth. Which, right now, we can put together maybe at most 4. <laughs> at best. So, it is what it is. So we're going to go ahead and start invoking some of this that going. A fleeting memory. 
This project has possibilities. When research requirements appear, I must fulfill them to gain insight. If I gain three insight, I will succeed, otherwise I may fail. So it's not guaranteed that you'll fail if you don't get all the requirements, but if you get all three insight, um, you will succeed. But the requirements, we don't know what they are. All right, we're about to hire somebody. All right, so what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and grab this. Fulfill a commission. Uh, we do have the lore needed and the reason. I need the right lore and I need to dedicate my abilities to the work. Write a brief treaty on the lore of the lantern. This may be useful for a commission. So we got that going now. Rhaenyra, a believer. Rhaenyra continues to pursue her appetites discreetly, uh, although her ambi ambitions have, gr have grown. So we now have a Grail believer. I think she's our first Grail. Yep, she is. Alright. We're gonna finish, uh, finish this hiring thing and see what happens. As we dive into the woods again. Alright, continue diving into the woods for now. Oh, first requirement. Uh, my research needs a glimmering. Unfortunately, I don't have any glimmerings. That's the one thing I don't have. So, there's a chance we might fail it. Or we might just immediately succeed, uh, succeed and save us a bunch of time. But we'll see. It's not a big deal if we fail, because um, we can just keep trying again and again. Anyway, let's uh, finish this up. Alright, we got our, hul our hulking fellow. Can you take care of a problem for me? Thank you. It's not a really high chance, because he's only level 3, but... It's, 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 I might as well attempt it just to kind of give myself some time to do something else. I'm not too worried about the notoriety. I'm going to have it by the time the next thing happens. So it is what it's going to be. All right, sickness. Uh, we failed it. Yeah. I don't get what these little cards here, these, these 0.3 second cards, like they don't do anything. They're literally nothing. But whatever. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go ahead and continue to study them. Uh, actually, I'll study the book first. I'll get that taken care of. Since I have it right now. Jensen uh, hypothesizes a pre-Zoroastrian fire deity whose rights were the rights of smiths. So this is probably something about uh, for, uh, the forge. I believe it's called Forge? Yeah, Forge. Alright, so that's gotten started. Okay, I have finished the manuscript. So now we get this lantern, a brief discussion. Your own work in manuscript form. Talk to a patron to get paid for this. So we got that. I'm going to wait for this timer to finish before I try anything else, and we'll see how things go. Or, how much time does this thing have left? Uh, I'll cut it. It'll be cutting it close, but you know what? This will ensure I have enough to arrest with. So, there you go. 45 seconds. Let's do it. If I succeed, the timer won't matter anyway. Oh, and I just got Vitality anyway. Well, that happened. Not a big deal. Um, we'll wait for the timer to vanish and then just recover. Yep, 
Ending in annoyance. I wait word. It's probably gonna fail again. Our chances are like 30%. So not particularly high. So yeah, we end up getting the notoriety. Not much we can do about it. Study Jensen's The Burning of the Unburnt God. Jensen ultimately concludes with apparent reluctance that the deity was a goddess. She, he suggests that its gender may have been the cause of its, its suppression. The, the rites described are often eerie and sometimes grisly. Rite of the cru Crucible Soul. This rite uses an instrument of power to set the blood of fire. Fire is a lesion in, in the skin of the world. The assistant rarely survives unharmed can only exist once. Right. So, this is, uh, we clicked on this before, uh, but yeah, this is a, our first right. And we get a tier two um, forge. When we watch a fire, what are we watching for? When we find it, these are the words that it will speak. A word that sanctifies uh, the change that comes when the seared skin peels. All right. So tier two that. And we have access to a right. If we, if we were to work this right, each right can be used for many purposes. For summoning, I must begin by calling upon the power of knock, which will open the way. So this thing will take invocations, a victim, which has to be a prisoner or a follower, has to be willing, quote unquote, an instrument, and it takes a desire, but it actually won't take this desire. Like even though this is a desire, it clearly states that it needs to be a level 6 desire. What might I become? This slot only accepts the final stage of ascension. If you have achieved the 6, six mark, add your ascension to this slot to complete a great work. So more than likely, if you're going to do any special stuff, it's going to be with these other 3 slots. I don't exactly want to sacrifice anyone, so I'm probably not going to be using this right too much. But it's down here if we need it. Alright. What else can we work on? Let's go ahead and uh, let me go ahead and get my, myself some glimmering so I can get that last book taken care of and increase our passion. It worked. The place behind desire is there's something to be learnt from the satisfaction of desire. My mini has returned with a trophy. The annoyance has been uh, extirp extirpated. A human corpse. The spirit is departed. At some point, the smell will be so bad you'll have to dispose of it. But here it is for now. It may attract attention. It may be used, used to impress the impressionable. Even after the corpse is gone, notoriety will remain. So this is letting you know once the timer is out, it's going to give us notoriety. Which is hardly an issue because we already have notoriety from everything we've done so far. But we do have a hulking fellow still, and the timer for this thing is gone. The man called Alden is gone. I may find matters easier when I return to work. So it's a start. Now, an easy way to get rid of a body. It has a reputation, has this, but it's an ingredient. It also has um, three, three in Grail and three in Winter. Uh, what we can do, though, that should be of some use is we can take this Oop, wrong one we can take this and but before we do that actually let's go ahead and talk to um, talk to dr. Alban here and get this commission turned in fulfill a commission for dr. Al Adem. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and keep going to uh, Grover and Glover, or Glover and Glover. The office crackles with the news of Alden's unexpected absence. A scrawny, nervous fellow from the fourth floor has been appointed supervisor of records, temporary. Unlike Alden, he does not interfere with my work.
Alright. I have received the currency of the secret world, and my patron has let tantalizing information slip. So this is an iron spintria. Uh, initiates of the hidden world use blah 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 blah. Iron spintria are the lowest denomination, and display scenes of murder on their reverse side. And so that's why they have the edge aspect on them. Other than that, they're practically normal. It also gave us a little bit of erudition. And currently, Dr. Um, Al-Adem is currently uh, on cooldown. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of this. I'm going to get rid of this body by using it as trappings. It's not going to do anything as far as the recruitment is concerned, but it does get rid of it. So that's an easy way to get rid of it without too much issue. Alright. She's considering the evidence. There's a chance that she will be able to do something with this. Um, I have this hulking fellow here. Problem is I don't think I have uh, any good ways to... Uh, Cater and hero. I'm just seeing what sort of options are here. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna let this hulking fellow pass. For now. got glimmering which is good because I'm about to get my second glimmering so I can go ahead and get that uh, extra passion actually one way to keep uh, keep this guy oh I can't explore with him I can't I can't explore with a higher higher link gotcha good to know if I wanted to keep him around though I could just keep talking to him over and over again uh, but that's not exactly efficient when I'm trying to get more and more recruits Pretty sure this is not going to help me. Nope. Okay. So we'll go ahead and just go on, go into the wood and, uh, again. All other things are happening. All right. Sylvia. It has a detailed knowledge of roof ridges, of the river at low tide, of Irish whiskey, and of conjuring tricks. So I'm doing all this recruiting to kind of get not only more people but also get a variety. So we got lantern, forge. Edge. Uh, heart. Is that called heart? I'm pretty sure it's called heart. Yes, heart. Winter. Knock. Uh, grail. And now we have moth. So she actually follows the, uh, the order that we actually, you know, support. Anyway, in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and keep doing this. Actually, since the cops are, have already done their thing, you know what, actually yeah, we'll go ahead and keep, I'm going to go ahead and clear out all these people so we can have some more bodies. Just get that going and taken care of. Alright, let's go. Alright, tentative evidence again. That's a problem. So we currently have a notoriety. And if she triggers, that could possibly be upgraded to damning evidence. So if right now we need to wait out that, uh, we need to be on our best behavior for the time being. Alright, we got our glimmerings. Let's go ahead and upgrade. Okay, we got re uh, restlessness, not a big deal. Alright, the cooldown for this is now about 90 seconds. Ink, paper, and the fizzing of the electric lights. The office is dark when I leave, but I leave at the appointed time. So I get two funds. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and paint, just to get rid of, rid of that restlessness. It takes 60 seconds, so we'll still make it to our regular job on time. So that works out.
Moth shed the skin. The novice, the novice must only blah 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 blah. A bright-eyed, watchful woman who recalls her dreams perfectly. So she is a lantern type. So I'll put her with the, these people. I'll try to organize these guys by type. So I know how many I have available to me. Okay, keep recruiting going. Passion going. We'll eventually progress on that. It's just it's a, it's a bit slow going since we had to struggle so much for money. Tristan just likes distractions. Tristan likes results. He is a forge type. So I'll put him under that row. still on cooldown. What languages do you speak? He's incommunicated just now, but we'll be back soon. Okay. Uh, got your addition, but it's going to take time. All right, let's see if we can, we'll, we'll see if we can do this combination again. I do want to turn in that commission, or not turn in that commission, but I need to get a new commission. But I also want to study under him. All right, we painted. Nothing too special. Uh, the work is more de is more demanding now, but it's better pay. All right. Uh, extra effort. It might help if I am very lucky. Extra hours at Glover and Glover. Porter applies his uh, razor and his scissors to the great advantage of his friends. So he's another moth aspect. I'm gonna have to shift just shift things around soon. All right, let's talk to you and get another commission, please. Substantial secret histories, so we need a tier two um, secret histories. Yeah, so can't do anything with that for a little while. In the meantime, we'll go ahead and keep working with. Uh, we'll pick up these hanger ons to turn them into pawns, which will just get one rank of edge. Someday, we'll go beyond the wood. Your addition? Yes, we have that. We're prepared for that, so that gets yanked in, so that's good. Uh, we get ourselves the, uh, the pawn. We're just going to go ahead and take care of all these recruits right now. Because then I can shift these rows up and give ourselves a little bit more room. Hello. The younger uh, Glover has taken me out for a, a lunch at his club. I am to do more of the things that I do more carefully. In return, he will give me a little more of the money I earn for his father. So we get three bucks. We get three funding now. But he's now got us back on the... Uh, 
60 second shifts, which is a bit annoying. I suppose theoretically I could rise higher if someone died. If you don't attend this job regularly, you might suffer a demotion. For right now, we gotta play nice. Um, acceptance. Oh, curl my hands into the correct shapes and begin. <laughs> I could devote my life to this. So this is a little bit of a tricksy thing. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and spoil this part. If you put passion in here, it will end the game. If you put... I will settle into a comfortable existence. Even puts to the... Put you in a this little picture here. I'll, I've given up my dreams. I'll live well enough. Some might argue that it could be the one true ending. Where you just don't deal with the occult and just live a normal life. But we're not going to do that. So 70 second, every 70 seconds we will get um, uh, 3 funding. Or 3 coins. Alright, so now we got uh, insight because we achieved one of the... Um, uh, one of the requirements. Fortunately, every requirement takes more and more time. Alright, got another pawn. Alright. Also, we got money again, so let's go ahead and get that going. Oop. Oh, that's bad. Alright. Alright, so unfortunately we got the freaking freaking Connie over here is causing us trouble again. Uh, she's going to get that notoriety and there's a good chance she's going to make that tentative evidence into something a bit more damning. But there's not much I can do about it. Only way I would be able to... S yeah, there's no way I could stop it. I don't have anything on timer that I could possibly take advantage of. So she's going to cause me some issues. Um, Alright. All it needs now is, re is reason, so we do have reason, so that's another requirement taken care of. Sorry, I clicked off the screen there. Collection of poetry again. I mean, as much as I like having more passion, it's not something I actually need right now. I need lore. Alright. Let's do some organizing, because that's part of the game, unfortunately. Shift that over a little bit. Do a bit of this. And then all these pawns, I'm going to put here because they are edge based. So all these people also can potentially be fodder for me. They can actually take the fall for me um, when it comes to being uh, taken into trial. So here's hoping. Anyway, in the meantime, we'll go ahead and keep exploring for people. It's not like we can do much else. Alright, she's going to check the evidence now. Alright, another requirement done. That's good. I'm always the last to leave, even after the Elder Glo uh, Glover. But we do get three funding every 70 seconds. But we'll keep shopping here. We'll keep working here. It does take. It does always expire. Uh, use up one of our reason, but that's not a big deal at this point. Once again, restlessness is going to kick in. Alright, bunch of stuff I can't work with. Damning evidence. Okay, so once again, we're back to this. I, I have to not... I can't get any notoriety right now, else I can potentially risk uh, going to jail or losing a follower. So, we got 10 minutes of bullshit to deal with, so let's go ahead and just keep working on that. Hopefully this will be our last trip into the wood.
All right, last requirement was a glimmering, so that will be three insight, which means we'll succeed on this. So we got that going for us. Um, we got a lucid book which outlines a careful path through the thickets of a vast and complex language. Uh, so this will teach you Sanskrit. Which may be something I'll be interested in, actually. Let's see. Um, Aramaic. Greek. And Latin. So Sanskrit is actually something we can take advantage of. Greek we don't need. Alright, let's keep uh, going through this place. We're just buying every book off the shelves, just pulling them off. Passion, that's not a big deal. Alright, so that's three insight. The Queen's, Queens of the Rivers, a surreal uh, contemporary play by the enigmatic Monica Medina, in which the Queens of the Rivers are murdered one by one. Might get some contentment out of that, so that'll be useful. Ah, Fruit of Truth. Perfect. So we can explore with that, but uh, we also need it for um, our commission. Alright, I will wait that out. I've increased my mastery of the Ragged Lore, which we call by its aspect, Winter. So now we have our Tier 2. When I speak it, my lips don't crisp with the frost. Each time, this is surprising. Alright. So our main thing here... We can now do... Oh wait, I'll wait for the... I'm actually going to wait for the contentment, actually. Um, one thing we can also try to do is we can try learning... a language. Actually, we could have learned a language with anyone, to be honest. Um, let's deal with Greek first. So I can sell that book. I'll need to pay at Spintra, the currency of the hidden world. So yeah, this requires Spintra, Spintria value. This will be sufficient. I'll listen carefully. Okay, cool. So Iron Spintria is all we need. So this will teach us Greek for, um, without having to use a book. And that book we can just sell. Uh, the victory of the crowns erratic accounts by one arun of the hunting of of the hunting and consumption of supposed immortals by shadowy cults and of uh, shadowy cults of assassins published in the late 19th century all right well we still have money so let's keep shopping We got another hanger on, so eh, we'll just put you down there for now. That's some contentment. So we can actually get rid of that with this. So we can get rid of that dread. So that puts us in a good shape. All right. I'm gonna. Have, I want to finish getting the Greek, and then I'll probably call it a video. Once you, uh, I think the assumption is you're supposed to lose as an aspirant, since that's literally the the starting type. Um, because the others, other characters, start with so much more. It's a lot easier to start. 
The War of the Roads, 1450 to 1580, censored edition. Willis Ford describes uh, the, war, the War of Roads, an event in the history other than our own in detail, but numerous pages have been removed, and the name of the publisher is blocked out, and an ominous slip stapled to the cover explains that Willis Ford has been excised. Good to know. Alright, just in time. We got Dread, but uh, that's not going to become Despair because we took care of that. Alright, made some money. Keep working. Once again, this is another annoyance. Um, and the way you take there's a, there's a few ways you can take care of it. Um, we, we took care of the previous annoyance through killing him. Um, but there are other ways. Um, but unfortunately, we don't actually have very good... We don't have any very skilled uh, people to take advantage of. So I screwed that up. Alright. So with this, we now get Scholar Greek. No doubt you're, con uh, you're conversant, conversant with every variety of Greek from the beginning of to uh, Bicentinium. But it's a good thing you have those references, uh, those reference, reference works. Alright. And yep, so now that we learned our first language, we can now translate those books. I don't think we have any Greek right now. We have a Latin book. But it is what it is. And... Put that there for now. To be honest, I'm kind of going to probably move most of this stuff over. Like that. I'll free up some room. Okay. Uh, besides that... I'm going to go ahead and learn Sanskrit while we're here. <laughs> Might as well. Okay, go ahead and call this video. I am the Depressed Eeyore. This was Cultist Simulator. See you guys later.